And your total is 785. 785? Yes. Uh, then let me cancel out few uh, things. No, ju just a minute. And if you pay back credit card, you huh. will get a 10% cash back. 10% cash back? Yes. Then wait, I'll sh shop for this, this, this and yeah. that. How much is this for? 24, uh, 23,000 ma'am. 23,000? Yeah. Mm, okay, thank you. Excuse me. Huh? Uh, if you pay via, via credit card, huh? you will get 10% cashback on that product. 10% cashback? Yeah. Uh, okay, this is the credit card. And then pack this, this, this and this. Everything. Yeah, sure ma'am, sure. Ma'am, this is the best card. Just finalize this. Sure? Definitely. Credit card? Yes, sure. Perfect. Yes. Have this. Thank you. Thank you. Hey folks, CA Rachana Ranade here and I welcome you all to a very very interesting and an informative video wherein we are going to discuss about who pays for your credit card rewards. Basically if you remember in the pre-bumper of the video, be it a grocery shopping or be it shopping for a mobile phone or be it even the thought of getting an amazing discount while buying a car. I think all these decisions are definitely influenced if you get some sort of reward, be it in the nature of points or be it in the nature of an actual cashback. So I think it's really important for us to analyze as to someone is bearing for those rewards or cashback. Who is it? Is it me who is bearing for the rewards? Is it the shopkeeper who is bearing for the rewards? Or is it the brand or someone else who is bearing for it. So in this video, we are going to discuss and decode everything about credit card rewards. Well, now, first of all, let's try and understand what are the different types of rewards that these credit card companies offer. There are two major types of rewards. The very first one is cashback and the second point is like a point based reward system. OK, so let's understand one by one. The very first one is what cashback. So let's take a simple case study scenario. Here we have Mr. A and Mr. A is wanting to go for shopping in this shop. So what would Mr. A do? Mr. A goes for shopping, let's say shops for 10,000 rupees. OK, and for these 10,000 rupees is of course going to pay assume that he's paying by credit card now because this person is paying by credit card exactly he will get a cash back now how much cash back and all that that will depend from credit card to credit card simple this is a system for cash back let's go on to the second one which is like a point based reward system so let's continue with the same example of this person mr a spending via a credit card but instead of getting a cash back the person gets rewards. Now these rewards, there'll be again some ratio that every 100 rupees spent will give you X number of rewards. For 100 rupees spent, you'll get, get, let's say two rewards, two points, okay. Now what happens, assume in this spend, he got 500 reward points. Now there is another math involved here, that one point is equal to how much rupees? Assume one point is one rupee. So these 500 points are equivalent to 500 rupees. Now assume Mr. A says, I want to redeem these points. He, uh, he can again go and shop and now he got his shopping bag, but he's not paying anything. What happened to the points? Points were redeemed and that's how he was able to fund his shopping through the points that he had earned on the earlier purchases. So I hope you have understood both these ways of getting rewards through credit card companies. But then is there any other way to get rewarded is what we are going to check out in the next section of the video. There is one more way through which you can get additional rewards and that is through CRED. CRED is a platform which has been built for top 1% of India who have a credit score above this. And because of this, you can get an access to amazing brands and that too with great discount offers. Now, what all things can be done through this platform? Three major points. Number one, you can use this for scanning and making payments. Number two, you can also do your credit card bill payments. Number three, you can also use this app for making payments of various utility bills. But then how does this work? We'll also try and get to know some cool features of this app wherein you can add all your credit card bills at one place and manage them very easily. Number two, you can also get reminders regarding your uh, you, regarding your bill cycles and regarding your payments so that automatically a good financial behavior is inculcated. Number three is that you will also be able to understand hidden charges, if any, in your credit card statement. Now, 
you can use their scan and pay feature as well through which you can get some cool discounts or cashbacks just as an example you can get up to 150 rupees cashback on transactions above 250 rupees at starbucks and 25 percent up to 125 rupees on transactions above rupees 400 at pvr cinemas so if you have still not checked out the credit app link is there in the description box below now finally let's go back to the million dollar question as to who pays for the reward points or for the cashbacks on my credit card so for that let's understand this with the help of four case studies and i'm going to use my amazing drawing skills to prove the point okay so let me um, revisit my drawing skills okay i know it's very beautiful so just allow me some time okay Yes. What's happening? What is this? Any guesses? What is this? What's happening? What is it? School. School. Zhopdi. My God. It's very, very, such a basic thing, man. It's a restaurant. It's a beautiful restaurant. And this person is enjoying his meal. Okay, anyways. So now what has happened is that this person has just enjoyed his meal and with the help of his credit card, he has paid the bill of his restaurant. And now, can you see an amazing smile on his... Smile thodi jasti thali. Ek minta. Uh, again, let's draw the smile nicely. And this is the credit card. Okay, so he's, he's happy. Person is very happy. Why? Because he has gotten a cashback on his credit card. Okay. Now, he's, he is thinking, who paid for the cashback? He got a 10% cashback agreed, but who actually paid for it? Was it the restaurant who paid for it? Was it the credit card company who paid for it? Who was it? Now, for that, you have to know certain additional facts. Let's say that this was a newly opened restaurant and they wanted more and more people to know about this. And that was the reason why they tied up with this credit card company and said that if people if the customers use your credit card we are willing to offer an additional discount and additional cashback so think logically who will be bearing the cost of this cashback will it be the restaurant who is trying to acquire new customers or will it be the credit card company it's a no-brainer ideally it has to be the restaurant so if you ask me my logic is that 100 percent of the reward will be borne by the restaurant if they have a good bargaining power, it can be something like a 90% restaurant and a 10% a, a cost which will be borne by the by the credit card company, 80, 20, whatever. But ideally, it could be up to 100% which will be borne by the restaurant. I hope the first point is clear. And now please improve your imagination skills, okay? I'm going to draw for the second case study as well. Moving ahead with case study number two and please now improve your analytical skills, okay? My, my drawing is the best, so... Let's understand what is this now. Hmm. Okay. Now, this person has come here. Which place is this? Any idea? Bookstore. House, house. So many windows. House with a lot of windows. Guys, don't worry about it. It's a Samsung mobile store. Okay. So easy it was. Now assume that this shopkeeper tells that if you buy this mobile and if you pay with your credit card, just as an example, I say I say bank credit card or I say I say credit card basically, then you will get a 10% additional cashback. And again, the word cashback brings a big smile on this person's face. Okay. Now what happens is that he immediately makes the payment with the credit card. He buys the mobile and he gets that cashback instantly. Big question. Who paid for the cashback? Was it the credit card company who paid for the cashback rewards? Was it Samsung as a brand who paid for the cashback? Or was it the dealer who paid for the cashback rewards? Now, again, there is no specific answer, but it will depend on case to case. Let us understand this. I mean, if you, if you have seen this realistically, Samsung generally has tie up with different, different credit card companies. For example, this month they may run an offer with ICICI credit card. Next month they may run an offer with HDFC credit card. Next month they may, quota, whatever, different, different credit card companies. So here we may say that 
the credit card company will say okay this this is what we will charge we will not be able to you know pay anything for the cashbacks so it will be samsung as a brand who would be paying for the rewards and who will ensure that they get more and more new customers or we call such a cost as a customer acquisition cost so who will it be who will bear this cost it will be generally samsung as a brand who would bear this cost and it will neither be the dealer nor would it be the customer i hope second case study is also clear with that let's move ahead with the third case study and again you know i will uh, please 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 i'll i'll do the animation please Oh my god i mean i know but still okay my animation team wants some chance some footage I'll, i'll i'll give them an opportunity to express themselves okay so here the third case study is about dmart and you might have observed that dmart generally doesn't offer any cashback throughout the year basically on credit cards or whatever but typically what i have observed please tell me your observations as well in the comment box but what i have observed is during diwali time or some festive offers they will run offers stating that if you use xyz credit card then you will get a 5% cashback or 10% cashback or whatever now why would this strategy be used by dmart possibility is that they know that a lot of customers keep on coming to their store but when it is diwali there is a possibility that a lot of people already have a lot of time in hand they might go and search for other offers during this time frame there would be some other online giants as well who might give some additional rewards and discounts as well so they want to retain their customers so it's not more about customer acquisition it's more about customer retention so again if assume dmart ties up with icic credit card or hdfc credit card or with any other credit card company then who will bear the cost ideally logically again it will be dmart who will be bearing this cost and this will be not a cost of customer acquisition but ideally it should be a cost of customer retention whatever case studies we talked till now all three case studies till now who was benefiting they were the customers moving ahead with the final case study which is about A, a case where there may be a long term relationship a long term or a strategic partnership between two big brands uh, why is this case study different because if you have analyzed first three case studies in the restaurant case the restaurant was a newly opened one and that is why they didn't have the pricing power or the bargaining power per se in the second and third case in case of samsung and dmart they too were big brands but in both these cases we bifurcated it wherein samsung was more interested of customer acquisition in our example obviously and in our example dmart was more about customer retention now other than these three case scenarios could there be a fourth one like i mentioned could there be a strategic partnership between two big brands it could be some thing like this credit card where two giants one is amazon and one is icic they have partnered together and they have offered this credit card now what happens is that they give 5% cashback or something uh, for every for every spend on amazon acha a big disclaimer this is not this video is not brought to you by amazon or any credit card uh, like hdfc credit card or icic these are all examples that i'm taking okay so this credit card whenever let's say a person goes and shops through this credit card who will pay for the rewards or cashback will it be icic will it be amazon or will it be the person who will be paying knowingly or unknowingly for this reward points or for these cashbacks now here to be honest again it will be very very difficult for me to tell you that who will bear the actual cost for this because in case of such strategic partnership some long term agreements are signed off and these agreements are obviously not available in public domain so we will have to have a word with some top level management guys either of these two brands so that we get to know about this but of course as i mentioned this will this is going to be private data there could be a sharing it could be like let us say the reward or let us say whatever is a cashback amount might might be shared like 50 50% 50% icic will bear it 50% amazon 60 40 70 30 whatever as per their own bargaining power but in such cases one point i can definitely say in this case or beat in the earlier three cases there was one entity which was totally benefiting out of this and that was the customer himself but then could there be a chance a possibility wherein we also directly or indirectly bear such costs is what we are going to understand in the last section of the video well the final point that an individual may also indirectly bear for the cashback rewards or points and that can be because of either amc charges that is that is the annual maintenance charges the annual charges basically or it could be through the interest for late payment 
or possibility number three, it could be penalty for non-payment as well. Now, let's go through all these points one by one. What is AMC charges? Many credit card companies will say that, yes, we are ready to give you a credit card, but this XYZ rupees will be your annual maintenance fee, okay? But then credit card companies also say that if you spend minimum, let us say 50,000 rupees or 1 lakh rupees in the entire year, amount will be fixed by the credit card company. Then this AMC will be waived off if you spend the minimum amount okay so this may be avoided number two there could be people who always pay only the minimum amount due on the credit card if that is done then an interest is levied by the credit card company to the person and this is how this person i mean any person would keep on funding the credit card company and through these funds only credit card companies can give you rewards right so this is not a good practice to do so so always remember pay your full amount of credit card due and if you do that interest penalty or interest payment will also be gone last one is about the penalty for non-payment or it could be even penalty for late payment and that can also and see so what happens if you do that if you have to pay for the penalty this will be the income for the credit card company and that is how they can use these funds to give you or some other people cashbacks and reward points so if you want to avoid this don't, don't forget to pay your credit card bills on time. And as I mentioned, cred can also be of great help who can send you reminders for your credit card payments. And also don't forget to check out the link in description box. You will also be entitled for certain referral benefits. So again, as I mentioned, check out the link in the description box below. And also I have told you a lot of points in this video, I hope you found a lot of value in this video. If you did, don't forget to share this video with your friends. And if you want to know more about credit card concepts, you can click here. Till then, take care. Chehin and bye-bye.